Welcome back to The Daily Poem here on the Close Reads Podcast Network. I'm David Kern. Today's Tuesday, May 12th, 2020. Today's poem is from an American poet named Catherine Larson. She was the 2010 winner of the Yale Series of Younger Poets competition, and her first collection of poetry is called Radial Symmetry. It came out in 2011. I discovered this poem uh, randomly online in the last couple days, and uh, I really enjoyed it and wanted to share it with you. It's called Metamorphosis, and it goes like this. It is astounding how little the ordinary person notices butterflies. Nabokov. We dredge the stream with soup strainers and separate dragonfly and damselfly nymphs, their eyes like inky bulbs, jaws snapping at the light as if the world was full of tiny traps, each hairpin mechanism tripped for transformation. Such a ricochet of appetites insisting life, life, life against the watery dark, the tuberous reeds. Tell me, how do they survive passage? I rinse our cutlery in the stream. Heat so heavy it hurts the skin, the drone of wild bees. We swim through cities buried in seawater. We watch the gods decay. We dredge the gods of other civilizations. The sun, for example. Before the deity became a star, jasper scarabs excavated from the hearts of kings, daylight's blue-green water pooling at the foot of falls, sandstones where the canyon spills and verdant greens and vines, each lunar resurrection, each helix churning in the cells of a sturgeon destined for spawning. Not equilibrium, but buoyancy. A hallway with a thousand human brains carved out of crystal, quiet prisms until the sunlight hits. This is a delightfully dense poem. It's full of things I know nothing about, which I like. <laughs> I am not um I am not a marine biologist by any means and I don't uh know a lot about it. I'm certainly not a molecular biologist or a field ecologist or anything like that like Catherine Larson is. And one of the things I love is the way this poem gets into the specifics of things I know nothing about and yet can express such universal feelings, such universal perspectives um, in, in doing that. And, you know, I guess that goes along with the, the little quote at the beginning of the poem, the, the Nabokov line where he says, it is astounding how little the ordinary person notices butterflies. I mean... I guess that raises the question of what knowledge is, right? Um, is I don't know a lot about butterflies, but do I notice them? I don't know as much as Catherine Larson about um, dragonflies or damselfly nymphs, things like that, but do I notice them? And like a poem by John Clare, say, or Wendell Berry, or Wordsworth, or how many of the greats, right? Um, this is a poem that asks us to notice. It asks us to pay attention. It asks us in a very specific way. It offers knowledge that's very specific. And yet it's this universal call to pay attention, a call to, to be aware of what's around us. And in doing that, it connects us to a, you know, a greater tradition, you know, not just the poetic tradition, but the uh, tradition of people who have been looking at the world since the world began and, and um, taking encouragement from it and making meaning out of it. There's mystery in every little thing we look at, from the, the butterflies to the dragonflies and the damselfly nymphs. And, uh, you know, so many great poets are calling us to open our eyes to that mystery and, and uh, spend some time with it. I think this poem does an interesting job of that. There's also a lot more to it. We could break down a lot of the different images and everything. But, of course, this is not really the podcast for doing that. So uh, I'll read it one more time. Get let you uh, do that at your, to your heart's content if you'd like to, like to do so. So once more, here is Catherine Larson's Metamorphosis. It is astounding how little the ordinary person notices butterflies. Nabokov. We dredge the stream with soup strainers and separate dragonfly and damselfly nymphs. Their eyes like inky bulbs, jaws snapping at the light as if the world was full of tiny traps, each hairpin mechanism tripped for transformation. Love that line, by the way. Such a ricochet of appetites insisting life, life, life against the watery dark, the tuberous reeds. Tell me, how do they survive passage? 
I rinse our cutlery in the stream. Heat so heavy it hurts the skin. The drone of wild bees. We swim through cities buried in seawater. We watch the gods decay. We dredge the gods of other civilizations. The sun, for example. Before the deity became a star. Jasper scarabs excavated from the hearts of kings. Daylight's blue-green water pooling at the foot of falls. Sandstones where the canyon spills its verdant greens in vines. Each lunar resurrection, each helix churning in the cells of a sturgeon destined for spawning. Not equilibrium, but buoyancy. A hallway with a thousand human brains carved out of crystal. Quiet prisms until the sunlight hits. This has been The Daily Poem. Thanks so much for listening. I'll be back tomorrow with another poem for you.